Hello everyone. This is Dr. May and I am uh, here to talk to you a little bit about doing some power searching uh, on the C-SPAN video library. And uh, you know, most of the easy stuff you've already mastered probably, you know how to go to cspan.org and uh, you can quickly go to the video library right from the home page by uh, putting in whatever search terms you need. So for instance, if you need to, if you want to do a research project on Frederick Douglass and you wanted to look to see what was in the C-SPAN video library about Douglass, you would just type in his name. and press enter and you're going to get a lot of results for this. Now it doesn't give you how many results but oftentimes for a topic that's pretty popular uh, you, you might get hundreds or you might get thousands of results from the video library and so one of the things that you want to do is you want to go through and you want to sort of weed out and make sure that the videos that you're looking at particularly these top hits have what you want and so in this case I know that this is going to have some stuff in it about Frederick Douglass just by looking at the title and we're going to click on that and so we have our full video and when you start to play the video you can see that it's an hour and eight minutes long now you might want to use five or six or ten videos as sources to do your research on Frederick Douglass in which case watching videos that are an hour or more uh, in a short time period isn't really feasible so I'm going to show you a couple of things you can do to help you figure out what videos and particularly what parts of videos are most most useful to you so in the case of, of this particular video what you can do is is notice how uh, the majority of uh, videos in C-SPAN have transcripts and when you go over to the search this transcript bar you can look for particular things that might be within the transcript of the uh, of the video so let's say for instance I'm doing a research project on Frederick Douglass very broadly but I'm doing a project where I'm interested in Douglass's relationship with other abolition abolitionists like William Lloyd Garrison so I know that William Lloyd Garrison is a person that he was acquainted with so let's type Garrison's name into the uh, search this transcript box and press enter and we'll see that Garrison does indeed actually show up in uh, in 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 the search. So when you when you find something like this, one of the nice things about the transcripts uh, on the video library is that the transcripts themselves are clickable. If you click on the word in the transcript. You'll notice that the video head jumps automatically automatically to that spot that you clicked in the transcript which is a wonderful tool and so you can listen to that particular section and see if that section is relevant to your research uh, let me click on it again and then I'm gonna stop it now one of the other really nice things about this is that uh, having the transcript is that uh, you can do a different kind of full text search so if you open up the transcript, uh, you'll notice that there's a lot of text in here. But when I click on Garrison, it closes up the box and takes me just to the first instance of Garrison. But what if I want to find multiple instances of Garrison and try to isolate those particular parts of this long video? Well, there's an easy way to do that. Open up your transcript so that the entirety of the text is visible and then use your browser's search function to search this text and what I do is, is I go up to uh, edit for me go to find this page find in this page and click on the box and you'll notice in Firefox you get a little uh, search box down here at the bottom so I'm just gonna type in the word garrison and you'll notice that it found that word but then when I click on the search uh, these um, when I uh, the search for the next occurrence down here we'll find that Garrison appears down here as well let's see if he appears anywhere else nope just in the search box here and I'm gonna get rid of that so it doesn't get confused anymore uh, just in the search box there and then in the transcript here so we can go 
once again to that one place. Now, there's only one instance of Garrison in this entire uh, in this entire um, uh, video. But what if I want to search for a different search term like slavery? There's one instance of slavery, and we could click and go to that. Okay, and you'll notice the playhead jump to that section. What if I want to find another instance? Okay, there's one. There's two. There's another. Let's look again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ah, that jumps to a different uh, uh, video on this page. So let's go back. We know that there's at least eight or nine instances of the word slavery in this talk. So if I go back up to the very first one and click on it, Okay, let's stop there. Now, you've learned how to do two different types of search. The search this transcript will take you to the first instance of a keyword that you type into it. But you can also use your browser search function to find multiple instances of particular terms within the transcript and find them and look for them. But one other feature that's really wonderful and works in nice conjunction with the uh, transcript is the ability to make clippings. So if I wanted to make a clip, a short clip of just say a minute to a minute and a half of this long video, I would go right here to where you see the word clip and the, the little uh, scissors. Click on that. You'll get an interface uh, opening here. Okay. But you'll also notice here that there's a ribbon. Now this ribbon has a start time and an end time side. The start time is just a few seconds before the word that you uh, search for in the transcript down here. Uh, and it's going to automatically give you 30 seconds of a clip. So if you click on play, it's going to start where your first ribbon is and it'll go until the end, uh, uh, till the end of the second clip. Now. Let's go back again. What if I want a little bit more than that 30 second duration? Well, there's a couple of ways you can do this. You can go over to the uh, end time adjustment and you can drag. And you can drag and make an adjustment and get as much of the video as you want to make a clipping of. So let's say I want to make a clipping from the first playhead to about the one minute mark. So as you see over here under duration, that changes every time you move that second ribbon. You can also move the front ribbon if you need a little bit more uh, start time, but I'm just going to do the back, back one until we get one minute. Yep. When you get close, you can go over to the interface, go to end time, and you know that the duration that you've marked is 58 seconds, so let's give it two more seconds. So instead of 21, we're going to give it 23, and then hit return. And there we go. We have our one minute clip marked out right here. And we can play that clip and preview it by cl clicking on the preview clip button. Oh, let's stop there. That's an excellent clip. I want to keep that. So let's go to next. Press your next button. Now we're going to we're going to save that clip. Click the next button and you'll be given instructions on to make a title. Douglas and Tubman born. And then add a detailed description. Uh, and in this case, I'm going to say that uh, Douglas and Tubman are born at a roughly the same time. Okay. And the purpose of this is so that you can keep a good uh, account of each one of your clips and what's in each one of your clips. So once you give it a good title, that'll help you identify the clip and a good description, we're going to hit save the clip. We click on that. It's going to open a new window 
and now you have a window in your account you're gonna have a window open up and it's going to be just the clip of that one minute just that one minute clip that you can now share on Twitter or Facebook but more importantly for our class you can click on this icon and it'll give you a URL that you can copy and then paste somewhere else like in your paper uh, in the works cited uh, but you could paste it anywhere and it's gonna work you could paste it in Facebook you could paste it on Twitter you could paste it on uh, uh, on anywhere on the web email so forth and so on uh, but now you have a URL that's gonna take a uh, viewer anyone who clicks on that that link is gonna come to just your one minute clip uh, clip if you want them to see it and that's all you have to do those are the main steps for doing uh, for doing several things uh, first uh, you're finding the video that you want uh, you're taking a look at the transcript and searching it to see if it has the key words in it that'll help you to know whether or not that clip is relevant to your research uh, you've also learned how to use your your browser search function in order to find particular terms in the uh, in the in the video and then you've also uh, learned how to click on the transcripts the words on the transcripts to send the playhead to that exact spot within your uh, larger video and finally you learned how to make a clipping of longer videos so that you have a collection of short clippings that you can use for your research and that you can also embed and share with other people either on the internet or in your research papers and that's it if this isn't clear just let me know uh, look at this video a couple of times and if it's not clear just let me know and I will slow it down and break it down into smaller chunks for you if uh, if we need to okay thank you very much